100% thought about quitting football because I just could not handle if people found out. No, 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 what if, no, they'll find out. What if they see you in the streets? I've sabotaged myself for years and just thought enough's enough. Essentially, I could die tomorrow and I've literally lived a lie my whole life, you know. Xander Murray and I play for Gallifrey Dean Rovers. In September 2022, I became the only openly gay player in Scottish men's football. When I was growing up, I wanted to be a football player. So I, knew, I knew I was good enough to be a football player. But you hit me with your early teens. The changing room chat is a little bit different from when you're younger, of course. The later teens, you start to understand, OK, I'm very different from everyone. And then, yeah, that had an impact on my, my football, my confidence. I'll be brutally honest and say, the majority of my career, I've gone onto the pitch and mentally I'm not there. At times when I was in my lowest point, you just think so negative about the world and the world's out to get you. I literally get to a point that I accepted myself, but the only people who never knew was the football community. Everyone else knew. A dressing room can, uh, it can be a lively place at times. When it's at its worst, it probably comes down to the competitive nature, uh, wanting to play on a Saturday. It's cutthroat, it's dog eat dog. There's manager's job on the line, there's players' contracts on the line, there's pressure from the fans. I think sometimes there is players that struggle. You're always going to have players that are competing for positions. I think that can be difficult. Thinking now is insane, but I thought in my mind, if I came out and I was gay, they're all not going to treat me with as much respect, they're going to treat me as inferior, and that killed me for years. I would never imagine I would get to where I am today. It's amazing. The boys in there, literally nearly every one of them messaged me privately with a message of support and, oh, that brought a tear to my eye. That was, that was really powerful. To me, going in the dressing room, it didn't feel like anything had changed. Nothing needed to be put in a group chat, like, nothing changed. It's a pressurised environment. However, you can get your best memories in a dressing room. Best memories, you know, when you're running together and you do create strong bonds. Certainly, if you've gone through something, you can open up to boys in that dressing room and they can help you. To be able to come out and accept who he is, is credit to the club. I think credit to his teammates, that he feels comfortable in that environment to do that. I think it's massive what he's done. Just kind of shows that in a dressing room, there must be other people in other clubs and other teams that shouldn't feel in a position that they can't talk about it. So, ah, it's massive. There's a bigger picture here, standing for what counts. I feel like a new man. I feel like Xander Murray 2.0, honestly. I'm just being myself for the first time in my life. And now I'm going on the pitch and it's like, <sighs> you know. The support that I've received has been incredible. I want people to feel more confident in their skin to be in the dressing room, to talk to their teammates about who they are if they feel like it. The advice I would give to my younger self would be, you are different and that's absolutely fine. <laughs>